In this video, I will show you the easy way to do boot Cache OS with Windows 11. This method makes it very easy to install Cache OS alongside Windows 11 on the same drive and is one of the safest ways to set up a do boot on any computer without risking data loss. However, it's strongly recommended to back up your files to the cloud or external drive. Also, at the end of this video, I will show you how to safely remove Cache OS from the Duo Boot. Now be sure to watch the video until the end to avoid any confusion. Now check the description below for valuable information, timestamps, and download links. The only requirements of this video, you need Windows 11 or Windows 10 installed on your PC or laptop, an 8 gigs or higher USB drive to create a bootable disk with Cache OS, at least 50 GB of free space reserved on your existing drive. Before installing Cache OS, it's recommended to create a system restore point on your Windows computer. Now go ahead and search for restore point in the start menu and open it. This tool allows you to take a snapshot of the current system state. If something goes wrong with this installation, you can use this backup to restore your system to normal. If you are using Windows 11 Professional, disable BitLocker encryption before proceeding. BitLocker can interfere with Linux installations. For Windows 11 Home users, this feature is disabled by default. Now let's proceed with creating a free space for Cache OS. Right click on the desktop and open terminal. Type diskmg empty to access the disk manager which displays all drives and their partitions. In my case, you can see that one drive is connected. Drive 0 has three partitions. The first one is the EFR partition, where the Windows bootloader is present. The second one is the main Windows, and the last one is the recovery partition. I'm going to choose the C drive to shrink the free space for a cache OS. In your case, it might be D, E, or F. Whatever, just choose any partition and right click on it. Now choose shrink volume and allocate a minimum of 40 GB or more for Cache OS. You can type the value in megabytes. In my case, I'm going to allocate 200 GB. Then click on shrink. This will create unallocated free space. And that's it, now we have done creating a free space for Cache OS. Now open your web browser and visit the official website of Cache OS. Click on the download button. If you're thinking of installing it on a laptop or PC, go for the desktop edition. But if you're using Steam Deck or Legion Go, grab the handheld edition instead. Next, download the Rufus from its official website. Once both files are downloaded, save them somewhere on your computer for easy navigation. Then connect your USB stick to your computer. Now open Rufus. Select the USB drive and import the Cache OS ISO file. I'm going to choose the partition scheme as GPT as this laptop uses UV BIOS mode with the GPT partition scheme. Now follow the prompts and accept to start creating a bootable USB with Cache OS. Now this will take some time depending on the writing speed of your USB drive. Once it's done, it's time to boot the system into BIOS. You can reboot the PC and boot into BIOS. 
using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9, F10 or the escape key. In the UFI BIOS, enable USB boot and change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary device. Then disable secure boot. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Cache OS from the USB drive. If it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Cache OS install media. You will encounter two main options. If you have a modern computer, go for the first option to boot the OS from the installation media. If your computer is older, use the legacy option. Now go ahead and connect to the internet using the ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Once the process is complete, you will see a welcome screen. If you don't see this window, open the app menu, search for hello and launch the application. Then click on launch installer. It's time to choose the bootloader. It's better to use the grub boot manager which works great with dual boot. Then click on next. Now go ahead, choose the system language region and set the keyboard layout. I'm gonna choose the English US. The installer will then present this screen. Under the partition section, make sure the proper drive is selected and click on replace the partition and use the BTRFS as the file system. You can see the free space is represented with a gray color tag. Just go ahead and select the free space using the color tag and the installer will automatically find the Windows EFI partition and installs the Grub Boot Manager to this location. Then click on Next. You can select your preferred desktop. Then click on next. You can choose to install some packages. Now I chose to install all the recommended packages. If you have an HP printer or scanner, you can install this package. Now go ahead and create an user account. Click on next and choose install. You will see all the summary details. Sit back and relax. The installation will take some time depending on the speed of the drive. Once it's done, go ahead and restart your computer by removing the bootable media. Now from here, you can boot into Cache OS for now and Windows 11 is not showing. We are going to fix that issue in a moment. If you don't see the Grub Boot Manager and your system boots directly into Windows 11, just restart your computer. While it's restarting, press the BIOS key to enter the BIOS settings. Inside BIOS, look for the boot options and select the OS Boot Manager under the UV section. Then make sure Grub is set as the default boot manager. Now once you have made the changes, reboot your system. Now you should see the Grub boot menu. Now let's boot into Cache OS. It's time to add the Windows boot entry to the Grub boot menu. Open console or terminal and edit the grub configuration file by running this command and change the default grub timer to 30 seconds. 
then scroll to the bottom and uncomment this line. If you don't set the OS Prober value to false, then Grub cannot look for the Windows bootloader and won't add it to the Grub menu. Once it's done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and press Enter, then exit with Ctrl plus X. Then inside the terminal, type this command to update the Pacman database and run this command to install OS Prober. Now run this command to update grub and you can see it found the Windows Boot Manager. Then reboot your system. Now you can use the grub menu to boot into Cache OS or Windows 11. As a bonus part of the video, if in case you don't like Cache OS and decided to uninstall it, then reboot your computer back to Windows 11. Now open the Disk Manager by typing Disk MG Empty in the search bar. Next to C drive, you can see one partition that we created while installing Cache OS. Now go ahead and remove this partition. Simply right click on it and choose to delete. Now you will see unallocated free space that you can use and expand Windows operating system. It's time to remove the Grub bootloader, which is currently present in the Windows EFI partition. Now go ahead, type cmd and run it as administrator. Then inside cmd, type disk part and press enter. Now type list disk. Now this will show all of the connected drives to the PC. In my case, I have only one drive is connected where Windows and Linux bootable files are installed. I'm going to select this drive by typing this command. Then type list partition to list out all the partitions of this drive. You might see three plus partitions. Now look for the system partition or EFI partition. Now mostly it's the first one. Now select this partition by typing this command. Once it's selected, type assign letter is equals to R to mount this partition temporarily. Now type exit to exit the disk part. Now type R colon and press enter. Now this will change the directory. Here type dir to list the contents of that partition. Now change the directory into EFI by typing this command. Now if I type dir, this will list the contents of the EFI folder. Here you can see Cache OS and Windows boot files. Now go ahead and delete the Cache OS by running this command. And that's it, we have successfully removed Cache OS from the dual boot. Now restart your computer, it should boot your system directly into Windows 11 and you won't face any grub issues. This is how you properly set up a dual boot on your Windows computer. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KS Kirayo. I will see you in the next one.